Hello. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, let me do. Uh, I'm Wallace from Misfit. Um, so uh, it's great to be in Finland. Uh, and Helsinki is a great city. Uh, we are from uh, Misfit Wearables. Um, we are a San Francisco company. So uh, today I'm going to talk about a little bit about Misfit's journey and how we uh, develop the partnership. Um, so start, Slush is a very great startup event, and uh, we'd love to share more stories about how we grow from a very early startup into our stage at this moment. So let's begin. So Misfit is founded by uh, John and uh, Sunny and the Shreedar back in the end of 2011. So now we have about uh, four, four offices worldwide, and uh, we just established our Asian presence uh, in this year. Um, so now the Misfit products are over 50 countries and the 20,000 retail stores. Let's talk about the product a little bit. So uh, we launched the Misfit Shine back in 2012. Uh, with the focus of uh, building the fashion and the wearability. We also launched uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Shine 2 last month. Um, so, and uh, we launched the Mr. Flash, uh, which is targeting the low-end market uh, with various colors. Uh, so Mr. Bolt is another product that we have uh, been doing to explore the so smart, hard, smart home product. Uh, smart home, um, uh, product. And in order to use the, uh, to show the smartness, we created Misfit Link, uh, which is a wearable control device for everybody. So you can actually use a wearable uh, device to control your uh, light bulb, con uh, control the music, take selfies, and whatnot. We developed a few uh, software products uh, over the course to cover different platforms on iOS and Android and Windows Phone. So let's talk about partnership for a little bit. So as you guys know, um, startup is all about surviving. How do we grow from a fierce comp competition environment and, uh, and how do we approach to our customer? Most of the startup that we talk with has been, they always ask us about the question, and we're always discussing the key question, how do we survive? So we see uh, this problem a little bit differently. In order to become a uh, startup that you grow, so you need to go beyond that. Rather than making a product and go to your customer, we are, you, there's another key question that we're looking at is to build a partnership and also establish the brand. How, so how can we do that as a, as a startup? We have very limited resources. So in Misfit, our hack is to approach this through establishing partnership with uh, different brands. We started by working with Coca-Cola back in 2012, very, very early stage, even before the Misfit Chime is building out. So we approached to Coca-Cola and uh, expressed to them, say, Misfit is the iconic brand, and uh, we want to focus on lifestyle segment of the market. So we worked, we worked the partnership out. Uh, we, grow, we grow the presence to global, and uh, Coca-Cola brought us to the major worldwide event, such as Sochi uh, Winter Olympics and the Brazil World Cup, which is amazing to us. So we, uh, as a partnership, we have a, very, a lot of gratitude to them. In, in return, we built a Coca-Cola Red Shine. To us. So um, in Misfit, we are assigned the uh, red color to, to our Coca-Cola partnership to honor this partnership. And uh, uh, moving on, we work with the Coca-Cola and to build this EcoCycle um, band. So to work with the, so which is to for uh, to work as an extension of the partnership. So after Coca-Cola, we uh, approached to Swarovski, and uh, uh, to just to, because we think Mr. Shime is a female-oriented brand, um, we want to express how female can really appreciate this product. So uh, we think Swarovski, uh, sorry, Victoria's Secret is, uh, is another, uh, is a sexy brand for female. And uh, uh, we approached to Victoria's Secret. And then we made a, a special color for them as well. We made some app skin, uh, we call Victoria's Secret Pink. And then we work with the Swarovski. Swarovski, we, we extended the partnership to another level, not just the making by making a different color of the 
uh, product, as, but uh, we actually make a very different product by embedding their essence of the brand, which is the crystal. So, so we made a product that uh, has a uh, clear crystal on top of the shell, and uh, we worked out a set of uh, um, accessories with them. This is the product that we also extended uh, with the Swarovski on the technology side. Uh, it's a solar energy crystal shine. And uh, uh, we work with the Swarovski to, um, to build the product to achieve our ultimate dream of a power uh, focus as a wearable product. We build the app skin, and here's the video. Just so you guys know, as a startup, we couldn't afford to hire. Uh, we had hired the high-end model and all the studio to take the video. So Swarovski actually offered uh, to make us this video. So this is a, another benefit that we see to leverage the resources as a established, from the established brand to make the word of the mouth campaign out. And uh, last but not least, we work with the Speedo uh, to express the part of uh, the feature of the waterproofness of Misfit. So um, we think to by working with a br uh, brand that focus on each uh, specific, uh, specific target is the best way to cultivate what your product really does. So Misfit, we focus on waterproofness. So Speedo is obviously the best, best partner in the world to work with. So we work with them to publish the uh, Speedo Shine, which we assigned the silver color. Uh, to them, and uh, we also built a dedicated uh, swim tracking algorithm. So with a with a speedo shine, a uh, user can track the lap counting automatically, as long as they as soon as they jump into the water. So this is what we call swimmer edition, and uh, I'd like to share with you guys another video that uh, we made with a speedo. Obviously, they they made it. We are focused. We are determined. Every day, we get closer to our goals. Closer to what we will become. We are fueled by ambition. And driven by emotion. We face our challenges. moving forward. Nothing will stand in our path. We are the explorers, the adventurers, the pioneers. We will find what we're looking for. Misfit Shine Swimmers Edition. Powered by Speedo. So um, at the end, we expanded from major worldwide brands. And also, we focus on different regions by working with different partners. So one of the very good examples, which is what uh, we have spent a lot of effort on uh, this year, is to work with uh, partners in China. We work with uh, WeChat. We work with uh, 
uh, NetEase Music Player. We work with the Himalaya FM, and including the major internet companies as well as the new startups. So um, then let's get back to the question about partnership. Um, how, do, how do those, so there's a question like Ms. Uh, Swarovski, Speedo, and Coca-Cola as a worldwide brand. Why do they care about us? Back in the, back in the uh, early age, we are just, um, we're just a small team with uh, 10 people um, crumbling in a little San Francisco studio. So why do they care about working with us? So, um, this, so this is another uh, advice that we are, a uh, lesson we learned from uh, building Misfit as a company is, as a startup, we focus a, hot, a lot on execution, but we also need a little bit more strategic planning where we think partnership is one of our key approach uh, to develop the company. So when we start establish the company and establish the product approach, we think of uh, building a uh, wearable product that focuses on lifestyle and focus on wearability, focus on fashion, which, which distinguish Misfit out with, the, all the, uh, with most of the other companies in the market and uh, where the brands could appreciate us more. So as a traditional brand, they want more relevance because the, the, uh, the, internet, uh, the internet of the thing age is rising. And then um, they want to be part of it. What is the best way for a, a big brand to go into this, to, to go to their customer saying, hey, we are internet of a thing friendly as well. And uh, we are, you get, uh, we are technology, we have a technology element inside us. So would you go back to build a team from the, from the beginning, or would you work with somebody that has a, uh, has a good attitude, open mind, open mind this? So um, we tackled this by creating relevance uh, to those big brands. So you guys can see we developed the uh, uh, skin, we developed different algorithms, and we, wor we work with the brands and uh, to different, uh, develop different use cases for them. Um, the other one is um, the brands, they want the uh, connection to their users. They would, they, uh, in the beginning, uh, in the early stage, traditional brands working with their customer by their retail store, the traditional channel. So now they would love to explore e-commerce, uh, mobile commerce, or even social media uh, by, connecting, by having a connection with the products. So uh, this is how Misfit come into play. And we build a product from hardware side all the way to the end, uh, software side. And uh, we give them a solution so to help them alleviate the uh, connection to their customer uh, directly. So this is how we approach the, uh, approach to, uh, the brands and uh, work with them on the, uh, on, the lar on the worldwide basis. Of course, it's, it also involves a lot of executions because um, it's a, it's, for example, we, with the Swarovski, we spent one year and a half working with them by making the first product. And we are still, we are still working very hard on making the solar crystal energy shine because it's actually a very good, uh, difficult problem. So uh, on the China side, um, so my team uh, works with the China partnership um, very closely. And uh, we tackle not by so in, on the Western uh, market, we tackle by major pillars in the market. So, but on the China, we focus on speed. We focus on execution. So uh, as you guys know, China is, uh, the China's internet is a little bit different. So it's a mobile first. And uh, there are a lot of internet companies that, go, that, goes, uh, that show, uh, appears uh, very, fa very fast, which is very different than the Western world. So uh, on the China, so we have a team, our team uh, just to, uh, work on the focus on the breadth of the market and the, go to each segment and to cu cultivate, bring, bring the lessons that we learn and bring the use case that we work with the, all the Western brand and bring it to China and the focus on our qualities and the quantities um, by focusing on how much we can um, bring the users into this uh, whole ecosystem. So, WeChat has 60, uh, 650 million users, and we work with them by uh, publishing, by connecting our activity data to their WeChat um, health group 
uh, feature. And the Himalaya is uh, a new startup that was founded back in 2012. And now they have 150 million users. We work with them by introducing the link feature. So the uh, user can actually use Misfit Link to control the um, FM radio play and pulse. So this is what we have in Misfit. Hope you guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, again, it's really great to be here in Slush. Uh, um, we are, we are, we are, also, we are very much looking forward to talk with uh, uh, different startups in uh, Europe. And uh, I personally like to talk to uh, startup people. So, but thank you very much.